everybody and welcome back to a natural video. Today we're hopping into the sixth episode of the first season of Chuck titled Chuck versus the Sandworm. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for all of your patience if you are watching this on Patreon. I know last week I like to be as consistent as possible but last week my work schedule got flipped all upside down and I couldn't record as much as I wanted to and then when I was ready to record again and had time I got super sick and like I couldn't keep anything down for like two days and it would it was just it was not good but luckily I'm feeling much better now and hopefully I can get back to being consistent because um, I, I do like to be consistent and reliable to be posting um, a lot and um, if you're watching this on YouTube it probably you're like what are you talking about but um, I try to be also consistent on YouTube I'm just not as consistently because it does take so long to edit these videos and I do edit it myself. So maybe when you go a few days without, you know, a video, I do apologize. I'm sorry. Life happens. I'm not a robot. Um, I do try and get these out to you guys as much as humanly possible. There's only so much I can do. Life happens. This is the only thing I'm doing. I have a lot going on, but um, I do love all you guys. I love your support and I love how enthusiastic you guys have been about all these new shows that I am reacting to. The reaction has been really positive and really overwhelming and I just love the fact that all you guys are so excited to be going on this journey with me through all of these shows between one Tree Hill, Chuck, and, and Lucifer, and Game of Thrones, all of these shows, and even Smallville, because I'm still going, like, I'm done with Smallville on Patreon, but I'm still going through, and I have to still edit all the videos to get these up on YouTube. So I just want to say thank you so much for your patience and your support and your love. It's amazing, and um, I hope you guys are still enjoying my reactions and enjoying these videos. I know I love making them, and I love interacting with you guys and uh, just having a blast with it. So I'm excited to get back into Chuck. I'm excited to laugh a lot, to have some fun, and I hope you guys are excited mm -hmm. to go on this journey with me as well. So I'm ready to hop into this episode. I know Grogu is, so let's get into it. This is the sixth episode of the first season of Chuck, titled Chuck versus the Sandworm. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, oh. Oh, right to the head! Nice! And... Alright then. Ew! Is he? Is he though? There's a guy coming in here from corporate. Okay. Interview you and Tang for the assistant manager spot. For some reason, people seem to like you. Yeah, he's the charming guy. job is yours. Don't screw up. Ooh, Halloween! Sorry, but the whole two man sea cucumber thing is kind of creepy. First of that all, does sound it's creepy. Okay, uh, shy, title. <laughs> Ooh, the guy from before, the guy from the beginning. Oh, you might maybe not want to have said anything. That was stupid. No. Oh, right, right. Cover, cover. <laughs> Not awkward at all. Nope. It's uh, it's us at Comic Con. What do you think? It's great. Mm. Uh, actually, look like a real couple. Yeah, they do. What is happening? You are this close to getting fired for sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. Facts. Well, I'm sorry to go changing on you, buddy, but if you hadn't noticed, we are now, chronologically speaking, adults. So unless you want to work retail for the rest of your life, and by the way, drag me down with you in the process, I would suggest... Ooh. Oh. Oh. That was not a great thing to say. I was framed, okay? Okay. Believe me, I am not a murderer. Okay, okay just put okay. the gun down then. But FYI, you're kind of acting like a murderer. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Shit, 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 shit. Ooh. Is that a water gun? No. I'm pretty sure it's dripping up my face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the guy you used to make all the gadgets for Bond, mm -hmm. you? Bond is a spy guy, right? What have they been keeping you in a freaking cave? Right? I mean, the feds don't bother 
shooting somebody, guarding them with undercover agents, unless you're super good at something. I have a computer in my brain. Let's just say I'm a computer guy. That's one way to put it, yeah. That wasn't always a tucker, you know? One day, it just happened. I don't even know it's time. Just feel it. Go ahead. Tuck her in, see how she feels. No, 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 I'm... Awesome. Awesome's awesome. You can't tell your handlers you ever saw me. What? Why? They can help you, Laszlo. They're the good guys. <laughs> There's no such thing in this business. I mean, yeah. you don't believe me? Go home and search your room. See what kind of bugs your good guy handlers plant on you. It's agenda. The There's no good guys, bad them. guys. It's agenda. As much as they trust you. You don't think they didn't plant bugs in your house, in your room? Of course they did. Mm. Oh no, it's in the picture, isn't it? Oh, my heart goes out to him now. Well, it did before, but now even more. How did you find the surveillance anyway? Oh, a little birdie named Laszlo told me. What? You what? Oh you my gosh. Did I violate your trust? Laszlo was my asset. We believe that he is looking to make a bomb. Okay. And God help whoever's in his way when Laszlo decides to go off. Welcome to buy more. How can I be of assistance? Shit! Oh my god. Uh, so my handler, Sarah. Chuck, you have to turn it off. You don't understand. If you turn me into your handler, it's like Fuck. No, 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 no. Fuck. I don't know. Too bad Zoran didn't have his home theater system. Screw flooding Silicon Valley. Do you know what we can do with this system if we really wanted to, Chuck? Uh, that's what he's here for. Just this is what he's here design. for. What is that? Strategic Air Command. Shit, 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 shit. Guys, stop him. Stop him. Do something. Knock him out. Do something. Come on. Can always play later? We can. We can play. You think this is funny, Chuck? Okay, call him. Call him. Stop listening to the messages. Call them. Chuck. Um, yes you are. You're 100% responsible for that. Uh, what the fuck, man? Yo, what the hell, man? What the- ah, what? Hit the brakes, man! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Has it, though? No, 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 what is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, at least he got him out of the car. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Woo, smoking shoes. I can't believe that I, I was so wrong about that guy. No wonder you bugged my room, I'm an absolute idiot. Just because you trust people, it doesn't make you an idiot. Yeah, well, I should have trusted you guys a little more. Oh, damn. Okay. Look at him. Being all mature. I don't know who you're supposed to be. Oh. But that's the most kick-ass costume ever. Bartowski? Have you seen Chuck Bartowski? Nah, I actually don't know where Chuck's been keeping himself these days. I guess your boyfriend just couldn't take the heat, huh? I'm sure he's got a perfectly good excuse. Sure he does. Actually, I'm, I'm here to interview on my friend's behalf. I know Aww. the virtues I make for a good buy more manager are the same virtues I make for a best friend. Chuck is, is brave. Chuck is loyal. Chuck has the wisdom to not eat garbage from the break room crisper. The best man for this job is a man by the name of Chuck Bartowski. When he comes in tomorrow, he'll be working for one Harold Tiberius Tang. God, God damn. I meant to tell you earlier about your car's self-destruct function. Oh shit, we got one minute! Fuck! Someone just armed the herd to self-destruct. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're behind. You're behind. Cut the wire. What wire? Did you know that I believe you about cutting the wire, but you were wrong last month. The wire twice, then you had to run by a shot. Woo, that was close. Giving the whole big speech to try to talk the HR guy into giving you the job. Mm-hmm. Morgan did that? Yeah, he and did. Then someone went and stole his bike. I mean, what kind of loser was doing a bike? Oh no! <laughs> it was Morgan's bike! They're doing the slow. This is from. The <laughs> Sorry, when I think of this song, I think of uh, the MC. It was a uh, New Year's Eve episode. And we had the same thing <laughs> where Ryan's running slow mo to try to make it to the New Year's party before New Year's so he can kiss his girl. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, let's go. That's so precious. Sarah was just telling me that if she was stranded on a desert island, she would bring roast beef. She didn't say roast beef. Oh, she totally she totally <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to talk about it. Well, that was the sixth episode of the first season of Chuck, titled Chuck versus the Sandworm. And this was a this was a really good episode. It's very entertaining. Um I, I know you, probably some people saw the twist coming. He's actually the bad guy. I mean, he looked all deranged and he escaped from the cell. And, like, I was like, oh, they're, like, comparing him to Chuck and he's being used and, like, all these things. And, man, he did a good job of, of giving me sympathy for this dude. And then he just goes all crazy and actually turns out to be the bad guy. So shame on me for falling for it um and i'll probably fall for it over and over and over again so shame on me um but the guy did a good job the actor who played whatever his name was i'm sorry i, I literally just finished watching it i can't remember his name uh laszlo i think something like that um because i think because it was everything else around this episode that i really enjoyed it was honestly morgan stepping up and um, like going to bat for his friend, and that relationship was so good. The last five, 10 minutes of this episode made this episode for me so good. Between, <laughs> I know I said this in the reaction, but like you have the, the song that the OC used in their like New Year's Eve episode where, you know, Ryan's running to Marissa because he needs to make it before midnight. And, using that song and then having Chuck do in the slow mo and make it to Morgan so that they can like have the costume. It was so good. Pure comedy. Loved it. Um, and their friendship. I actually, okay, this is like towards the end of this episode, I actually started to like Morgan a little bit more. Um, it, it's not a secret. He's not my favorite character. I know some people probably love him. I just find him very annoying. But I'm like, okay, he has a little bit of depth a little bit here, you know, like, okay. And everything with him and, and um, Dr. Awesome, like, that was great. It was awesome. Like, it was, it was so fun. And I do love Dr. Awesome. Or I think that it's Mr. Awesome, Dr. Awesome something. Um, but that was very cute. I loved it. And I loved at the very end when Sarah, she actually wears the Princess Leia outfit. Instead of giving him a fake photo of their fake, fake relationship, she actually takes the photo and is like, let's just have something real. And I'm just like, that's so precious and adorable. It, all, it was so good. And um, yeah, I think all the other stuff, all the character stuff, made this episode the whole thing with the guy who escaped was fine um and also it, it also has to deal with trust and like who can you trust who do you believe and i feel like they're doing a good job of not making him trust everybody unconditionally right off the bat and i do like that because there was a couple episodes ago where he felt he couldn't trust sarah and he trusted this random girl who was not and like it was a competition with sarah and now he trusted this guy who, and I get why he trusted him. I really do because he seemed like a genuine guy who just got the short end of the stick and was being used by the government just like Chuck is. And so you understand why he has the sympathy for this guy and why he would trust him because he did say, hey, like, you know, they got bugs planted all over your house, your phone, your car, everywhere. And I'm like, you did not know, did you not think they were going to do this? Like, of course they did. Of course. But he found all of them. Um, so that was funny, the whole sandwich thing, too. I, I love that little tag at the end when they start talking about sandwiches again because he knows Casey's listening. I was like, you know what? 
I love that ending. That was great. That was a great little tag at the end that made it made it very good. Uh, the episode as a whole wasn't all that great. I'm not gonna lie, but I think it was everything to do with the uh, Morgan Chuck relationship, and then of course the ending with Sarah when she it's like, now let's make this a little bit more real. So. Um, yep. Yeah. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this show. I hope you guys are enjoying my reaction to it as well. So if you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'm going to have the link in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next episode.